Today will be seeing the most unique hotel in the country of Georgia, a tiny quarry house which is typically an earthware vessel made with clay for fermenting wine. What is the bodyguard here? He looks like a superman. Also today we're gonna learn how to prepare traditional Georgian dishes. Oh, you lost it. I lost it. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. We're gonna go to local family to see how they make wine and also try traditional method of drinking from the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready, baby? Ready. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So for this car, we actually rented for $27 per day, but initially the car that we got was Ford Fiesta, but yesterday the owner actually messaged me and told me that, hey Justin, your Ford Fiesta got crashed and I'm gonna upgrade you to another car. So now we've got the Hyundai, which is a lot bigger car and also very modern as well. So I think this one typically will be around $30, but still, compared to other European countries, car rental here in Georgia is still relatively cheap, I would say. Our car's so dirty now, we're on gravel road. Uh, in Australia, my brother would kill me if like after a hike and like the car looks like this on gravel road. Now it looks so dirty, I can't even see the rear window now. Don't drive so close to him. So slow. Just now we almost crashed our car just because some driver in Georgia stopped super, super fast. It was super close. Is he okay? Yeah, it was super last minute break just then. Oh That's something they need to look out for when you're driving in Georgia. For one, drivers here, they are relatively quite dangerous. They speed a lot. And also the roads here, when you're outside the city, it gets really challenging to drive as well. And thirdly, sometimes the road signs, they're all in Georgian. So you really need to use your imagination to guess what it is. But yeah, I'm just very happy that it didn't crash here. If you watch our channel long enough, then you know I'm the type of person who likes to be prepared whenever I go travel, especially on road trips like this, where many things can go wrong. That's why I'm so excited a partner of Safety Wing, our go to travel insurance provider. Because it is so affordable, it's only $45 for 28 days, and you can sign up for minimum five days and cancel anytime without giving any reasons. It also has travel coverage, for example, lost check baggage, travel interruptions, mm -hmm. travel delays, and also 24 7 support team. I think it's really good insurance, especially because we already have coverage for our car, and now with this insurance, we have coverage for our health, which is more important. So, yeah, if you're interested in buying the Nomad insurance from Safety Wing and want to support our channel, then make sure to head over to use our link in the description. Wow, free roaming horses. Wow, so beautiful. Wow. Oh, hello. Ah. First time for me to see horses not in a farm, not gonna lie. So majestic. Before this road trip, we actually went on a small road trip, but we didn't drive. We actually took a taxi to an area called Gudaru, which is a mountain region. And when we were driving, the view was so beautiful. All the orange, yellow, and it's, it's kind of my first time each seeing these colorful colors. Just because, you know, in Hong Kong and Australia, it doesn't really get too cold or too hot. It has autumn, but the leaves are not as colorful and vibrant like here. But already after one week, it's nothing else. <laughs> yeah, now after one week, everything is oh, deadish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we realized coming to Georgia at a wrong season, I would say. Better time is winter or summer. But anyway, we're here, so we want to get the most out of it. In Georgia, everywhere, it's a broken cars. I don't know why they keep it like this. Broken roads too. <laughs> now we're in a village, village area. <gasps> no, chicken! Oi. Hey, suicide chicken. <laughs> See, how can we drive? But our navigation bring us here. A <laughs> little bit confusing, but now I guess we finally found our right way and this is not this road. The hotel told me to go a certain way because the Google Maps location is not updated. It's a rather new hotel. Oh no, I'm gonna go back down. <laughs> Welcome to village life. This is like a, my grandmother dacha, garden house. For me, it's super, super typical roads. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what is the bodyguard here? He looks like a superman. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Our bodyguard helping us. With yeah, we've got ladies. Superman. This is probably the hotel I'm excited the most in my yeah. whole life just because it is so interesting looking. We'll show you in a bit why. But first, let's check in. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, how are you? Very good. Wow, so beautiful. Thank you. So we dropped down our bags and now it's time to give you guys a tour around this hotel. Ladies first. Thank you, thank you. This is the lobby reception area and it's very spacious. Hello again. Hello. If you pass through the corridor, this is the main bar area. Vibing music, glass of wine, cocktail, they serve it all here. Yeah. 
this right here is actually a heater pool. So now currently it's not being heated up just because I think no guests are using it and also it's being late. But usually you can actually use this pool, especially now it's 15 degrees. I can't go in for a dip, just heated pool. It's like a hot bath. And I just realized on this side, there are some table tennis tables as well. Run. <laughs> 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 you get the point. There's table tennis here. And uh, let me show you guys why this hotel is so special. And of course, the highlight of this hotel is a hidden gem, is this is Quevery Houses. This looks like a vessel, and usually it's a traditional Georgian Quevery that they're usually making wine. Today we're gonna leave there. We still didn't see room, just a little bit. Oh, let's, let's see first impression, come on. There's not a room. <laughs> Oops. This is our room. Design of this room, it looks super interesting. Welcome to our home for next three days. Nice and spacious bed, some small table with phone. On that side, we have a TV if we want to watch Netflix or YouTube or something else. And here, area with tea, coffee, water and coffee machine, which is so important in tomorrow morning. And also mini, mini fridge. Oh, inside a lot of snacks. They are so generous. It's not generous, you need to pay for it. Oh. And this side, bathroom. Ta-da! So here we have towels, shampoo, body wash, everything that we need, toilet and shower. That's so nice. Oh, I already love it. Gonna be good experience. Can you imagine how they build this? How someone can have idea to make like every house? I think now, more than ever, I actually want to drink wine from a Cravery. Mm. I think this might just be one of our best hotel stays in a while. Just because this place, it's so peaceful. Yeah, this place, it's so peaceful, so beautiful. Also because of this hotel, it's a rather new hotel. That's why not a lot of people actually know about this place. It's newly built this year. So we're giving this secret information to you guys so you can check this out when you... Yes, secret information for you guys. <laughs> so you can check it out next time we come to Georgia. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome to day two. Today, it's a big day because we'll be learning how to make King Kali and Kachapuri. But first, we need breakfast. And this breakfast will be for us first time when we're really trying Georgian traditional breakfast. So it's so interesting how it looks like. Yeah, okay, let's go. So for breakfast today, we're having a mix of Georgian and also Western style breakfast. For example, from what I understand from where she's just done, he actually said there's not a lot of dishes that scream out Georgian breakfast like this. So that's why they usually have potato and a lot of cheese. So we've got cheese platter, got some ham over here as well, and mix of Western style breakfast, which is sausage and bacon, omelette eggs, and you've got some muffins over there as well. And these bread right here is not just plain bread. This one actually has some sort of Georgian spices and I believe this one is bread with olives. So overall very filling breakfast, lots of cheese, lots of carbs. I think that's traditional Georgian breakfast. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. bon When it comes to the most iconic Georgian dishes, it has to be the King Kali and Kachapuri. And this hotel actually also offers cooking classes. And today we're gonna to learn from the masters how to cook King Kali and Kachapuri traditional way, which is wood fire outdoors. Because we're cooking outside, they already chopped up some woods here for the wood fire and it's already burning hot right here. And I believe they also prepare some ingredients outside as well. Because we're cooking King Kali, I think there is some sort of mint product flour. And over here, there are some special herbs that we'll be learning about later. Personally, I love cooking, so this is exciting for me. I don't like cooking. But anyway, <laughs> this is so exciting for me because it's interesting how to cook hachapuri in like traditional way. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of village life. Mm. People cooking kinkali kachapuri, use yeah. wood fire outdoors, <laughs> like babushka preparing. Babushka means grandma in Russian, right? Yeah, today I will be your babushka. Huh? 
<laughs> you can see in the background here, Alina is just chatting with the chef now. But because I think most of the Georgian people here, they actually don't speak a lot of English. That's why I believe this cooking class is majority going to be in Russian. So Alina is going to do the work translating for me later. He said we won't put kinza inside kinkali. Amazing. That's yeah. first step for a good kinkali. They say <laughs> for me. <laughs> usually in traditional recipe, they don't have kinza in kinkali. Oh. It's only in big cities like Tbilisi. Uh, I don't know why, but I noticed in Tbilisi, every single dish, they add heaps of king, uh, <laughs> coriander. I don't know why. Yeah. They add so much coriander and we don't like coriander. For them, coriander is like a garnish. Like an onion. Like a spring onion spring in onion. Asian cuisine. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel? Again, bakery is not my strong suit. <laughs> it's good. It's okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put here. Put one spoon. Need swap. Uh, here. What? This doesn't look so good. <laughs> he did so perfectly. Now so thick. I feel like press. Mm -hmm. More harder. Okay. This one need like turn like this. Ah, okay. And then I prick this up. Mm -hmm. This is exhortation. This is reality. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really ugly, but uh, now I learn the hard way. <laughs> anyway, now I eat this one. It will taste extra delicious when you handmade it yourself. <laughs> Alina is very good at making clay, so I'm sure she has good experience with this. I remember she started making some clay toy and it, I got so impatient. Is it similar to Russian dumplings, palmini, like this? Yeah, you just make uh. the same, but. I'm hungry, by the way. Ah, one side, no flour. One spoon, and put inside. Yeah, only this side, like this. Because I used to cooking Chinese dumplings usually, and it's a little bit different way. Oh, you lost it. I lost it. No! <laughs> I mean, yours is beautiful. Yeah. Uh huh. I think. It's good? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the secret judgment. Mm hmm. <laughs> wow. Alina did this professionally, I feel like. Right to the hot water. So now the dumplings is in the hot water. It's gonna take five minutes until it's fully cooked and we're gonna taste those juicy dumplings. Hopefully the juice doesn't leak out. And after that, we'll cook kachapuri. And also, there is this very unique snack that we saw in Georgian market. Chushela. Churchela. Chushela. Churchela. Chur? Chela. 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 It's okay, it's okay. Okay, anyway, so this snack right here that appears to be like a Chinese sausage is actually not sausage, it's called churt chukhela. Basically, it's made with these nuts right here, and we're gonna learn how to make it into these beautiful things. This is for the thing here. Wow. Mm. Okay, I put it inside too? No, wait, wait, wait. Mm, you cover it. Ah, wow. I see. Very nice. Basically, it's just to cover the entire chain of nuts with this paste right here. Grape paste. Grape paste. And this is white wine paste, right? Because it is Biela Vodagana. Yes, white wow, wine. Wow, beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Oh, now there's some excess on top. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> take take this one. Was me, was me. Yeah, this? No, take it in your hand, yeah. And then mix. Mix. Huh? Like Put this. inside mix. and mix, mix. Wow, this looks amazing. This looks like putting caramel on the nuts, but it's not caramel. <laughs> <Oui>. <laughs> Too much? Was it too much just now? Or? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, see, okay. see how he's doing. Ah, oh, he's removing Slowly, it, yeah. removing the excess. Oh, very beautiful. Okay, we've got our robot here. Give it there. Okay, good. That's so heavy. Oh my god. Uh -huh. 
to describe this, basically it has a very strong gummy texture, this paste. That's why it's really hard to push. You're doing great. You got this. Yes, it's so heavy. Oh, wow, beautiful. Oi, normal? This is to sun dry them, right? Mm. And it becomes harder. Yeah. And also on the other side here, our king kali's are ready. He said try. Try, okay. And they will bring now uh, tissue. Tissue, good. Yeah, because yeah. usually you need eat with hands. Flip. You drink the juice first. Mm -hmm. And after that, you eat king kali. Mm. Oh, good. it's so good. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Taste this time is just right. Maybe I'm biased, maybe because I, we make this, so it's extra delicious. But yeah, it is so tasty this because time. Because inside, no coriander. Yep, that's all the main thing. Inside, mm -hmm. no coriander. Gem yeli. Gem yeli, delicious. <laughs> mm, wow, so juicy. Just now I just drink the soup, and now I'm gonna try beef. Mm. I think the dough now is a little bit too thick. That's why it's easy to hold, but actually it's hard to eat. Mm. I think it's a mixture inside that is very tasty. So tasty. Yeah, the mixture is so good. Because they mix pork and beef, and also they mix it with water to make it juicy. Personally, I think I don't like it. I love it. Such <laughs> good I want to try this one. This is just now we make. This is churchella. It's a grape paste. They say we can eat this just like this raw. So I want to try how it looks like. Mmm, it's sweet. It's like a jam on the way. It's like a jam, grape jam. Warm. It's like a sweet, fruity, sticky paste, I would say. I wouldn't say I like it, but yeah, it's okay. I like it. This one is traditional Georgian drink called Checha. Checha made from grape, from wine, and it's 100% original. No chemical things, no something like sugar. And this is actually 40% alcohol, so it's higher than vodka and tequila. So yeah. actually, just now we already tried, I tried two shots. Alina <laughs> tried a shot just because just now our battery died on her phone. Yeah. So we're gonna do a redemption now and gonna drink this again. On the Georgian tradition, they tell us that we need drink free times free shots so <laughs> so i call it cha 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 not cha 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 because free time alina is drinking cha cha i'm drinking cha 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 <laughs> so before we start drinking we need say in georgian uh kao kao kama josh kama josh kao ma josh kao ma josh kama josh 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 Ding. who's josh by the way <laughs> <laughs> i think my mouth is super small this i can drink it fully <laughs> you can it's super spicy it's like it's like burning my mouth now. Really? Yeah, a little bit. Like, a, I don't know, for me it's stronger than vodka, to be honest. To me, this is so smooth. Vodka usually it burns, has this aftertaste, but this one is just so smooth. Really? Love it. This yeah. burns too. <laughs> you know, in Australia, we do this song. We like to drink with Alina because she is our mate. When we drink with Alina, she downs a drink in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 0 0.5, wow. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, uh. 0 0.09, <laughs> 0 0.08, 0 0.04, mm. 0 0.03, 0 0.00009. 0 .00 Someone will be done today. <laughs> <laughs> I have really good uh, alcohol tolerance usually, but I think this is a really good pair with traditional Georgian food. I think also maybe in winter, if you drink this, it actually keeps you warm as well. Okay, let's do it. This one is more fluffy, feels like. It's more sticking to the roll because mm. it's more cheese. Uh, he said because it's from milk, yeah, from milk, from from cheese. Oh, and then he's gonna put another dough inside. Mm. Okay, and then fold it like a kinkali. Wow, see, it's so. How do you describe this? Big kinkali. Yeah, big kinkali. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, exactly like a kinkali. Bam! Voila. Ah, uh, pizza, pizza, I need pizza. This 
like a, the classic classic hachapuri, right? Yeah, it's a classic hachapuri. Ah. We have also the Ajarian hachapuri, if you know. The top yes, top yes, yes. Egg. We, we mm. always, no always eat this Ajarian side, hachapuri. Side. Now, we put the dough inside a hot pan and he already made a small hole mm -hmm. and it's for the air to leak out so it doesn't puff up. And now we wait. Your first hachapuri in your life. Yes. Maladiet. Maladiet. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. New chacha for you. Gauma Josh. Gauma Josh. This time cheese for you guys. Gauma Josh. So smooth. Really? Super smooth? Yeah, so you, good. You even don't want to drink something after nope. that? Yeah, perfect. Wow. So good. You're so strong. Thank you. <laughs> wow, so good. Aha. Mmm, it's very nice. Wow, Afiget. yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. Are you okay? <laughs> no, it's 40 degrees. Usually I drink one cup of wine and for me it's like enough. You but mean 40%? This one... <laughs> yes, 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 40%. Okay, anyway, we've got our kachapuri here. This might not look like the ones that you looked online before because this is not the Ajurian, but this classic kachapuri. So we're gonna have that now. Anyway, yours is more juicy. Oh, good. super so good? juicy. Like I said before, if you're eating kachapuri and you have lactose intolerance, this is gonna say to ER because it has so much cheese in it. It's so good. This is a more, much more filling version of pizza. Love it. <laughs> good. After chacha. <laughs> yeah, so good. Yeah. Mm. Everything tastes better when you make it yourself. It is a very good cooking class, I would say. And you also you have a lot of these food. It's my best cooking class. So far, it's been my yeah. best cooking class. And the, the Georgi, mm -hmm. Georgi just said was so nice. And he was so patient, even though we we're just like messing around, but <laughs> yeah. he was so nice. And yeah, wow, just amazing. Yeah, no, I'm just speechless right now. Only already five. Guys, don't worry, I have first time seeing Justin drunk. Too. I'm not drunk. You won't drink your wine? Wow, this red wine is really good. It has that very fruity taste. This is really tasty. Maybe because you're drunk? No. <laughs> So now we understand what a query is, that's why now we're actually going to a local wine cellar to taste authentic Georgian wine and also learn how they actually make it. From growing the grapes to harvesting to how to process it, we're gonna learn it all today. And rather than going to a big, you know, local winery, we decided to go to a rather small local authentic farm wine cellar so that we have the full experience of how it's like. Yeah, to be honest, I'm already tired of drinking wine every day, but Georgia, it is what it is. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Eka, nice to meet you. Nice to, nice to meet you. Alina. Hello. Oh my god. So cute. Sausage dog. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. Nice to meet you. You're super cute. Three wow. months. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> so cute. My daughter, Lily. 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 The place we decided to visit this time is run by a very friendly and hospital family, introducing our hosts Vaku and Neka, and they're probably the most welcoming people we've ever met in Georgia. As soon as we arrived, they started showing us the biggest cranberry, which is 2 meters tall and can hold up to 2,000 liters of wine. I saw that Vaku typically would climb down into the cranberry and use this U-shaped antiseptic brush to clean the cranberries. Natural uh, antiseptic. Wow. Now it's full of wine and grape together, skins and seeds and continue fermentation process. We crushed this grape uh, two weeks ago and uh, it needs one more week. One more week. And in terms of the winemaking process, after harvesting the grapes, they would put the grapes in a cut-out hazelnut tree that was imported from West Georgia and use the food to crush the grapes. The grape stomping process is an important part of Georgia's winemaking tradition. This is to prevent the grape seeds from breaking because otherwise the wine will be more sour and affects the overall taste. Now just come out from this hole and, yes. and go to uh. it inside. Once the grapes are crushed, he will collect the juice, grape skins, seeds and throw everything into the cranberry and let it ferment and once that's done, he will then separate the juice from the seeds, grape skins and the remains are put into a cha-cha distiller to produce cha-cha. 
Jaja is a strong alcohol. Cha cha. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do most households actually make their own wine? Yes. Mostly right. every family make wine, but uh, not in quality. Because it's very difficult. Vaco and Erka then showed us the 120 year old wine cellar and inside there are three smaller creveries that can hold up to 500, 400 and 300 litres. Because the creveries are non-removable and over 100 years old, they really emphasize on the cleaning process and have different cleaning tools. These are actually cherry skins. They actually serve as antiseptic. So usually after they finish making the wine, they would use this to clean the creveries. So what they would do is they stick it to the bottom and they would just brush it like this and use this antiseptic. After that, they would actually use this two-hand tool, which is basically a two-stick holding a bucket. And they would put this down into the query, and they will lift up the dirty water that they brush it off. And then basically, Vako told me that he will take out the buckets one by one, one by one, one by one, until at last, he will actually taste the water. If it's like pure, then it won't have any taste. Of course, if it's dirty, then he will taste the dirty water, but he will make sure it is the cleanest when he pours the wine in. And the last tool we have here, it looks like a cylinder. Basically, this is for filtering the grapes. You would put this into the query, and then as you picked it up, then you will filter out all the grape excess here, and the juice will remain inside. After the fermenting, aging of wine also the filtering they will actually put the wine in these huge bottles and apparently according to Vako what he told me is that usually in Georgian men they would drink the whole bottle how many liters inside three liters three liters three liters can you drink three liters it's normal size for one Kakhetian men for Hong Kong men it will be like <laughs> half the bottle I think yeah. <laughs> wine some Kakheti is dangerous because climate here is more dry that's why the grapes are typically sweeter meaning high alcohol percentage so it tastes a bit like a harmless sweet drink. So you every day drink one bottle? No, no. Every day. Just, just yes. soup. Now. Just this. Yes. Kaumarjos. 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 Thank you. So strong grape taste in yes. that. <laughs> Grapes, uh, branches, and uh, we make barbecue, more tasty barbecue. This is no grapes. Mm. Uh, it looks like you vertical, the fat like this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, like this? Finger. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again. <laughs> Again, this is certainly the kind of activity you try to avoid mm -hmm. when you're drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently in western region, they're famous for the kachapuris, but here, from the eastern region of Kakheti, they're actually famous for this kind of barbecue. And this one, it's a hurma. This one is a kuma. It's a fruit that I've never seen or tried before. It looks like somewhat like a plum, but it's orange in but color. But they grow it everywhere, like here. It's a hurma tree. Vaku actually just picked it from the tree just then. He actually climbed a ladder and just took this for us. Whoa, it's so sweet. It kind of reminds me of a texture of a melon. It also tastes, tastes a bit like a melon, actually. It's so sweet. It makes it a very good fruit after food. Yeah, it's like a dessert almost. Yeah, we, our, this is our tradition. We always say some toast and we drink wine. Uh -huh. And first toast, I want cheers to you, my guest. Welcome to Georgia. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so juicy. It's so good. Amazing. Mm. I think like when you see how it's made, usually the fruit tastes better. <laughs> Look at the Justin eyes. So good. Yeah, so so good. good. Wow. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you. Shaker goose, shaker goose. Cha cha. Jump the loba. Two health. Mm. Oh, <laughs> this one is strong. Really? Mm. <laughs> That's so strong. So spicy too. Wow. So yesterday at the hotel we had cha cha, but I was like really smooth. This one's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mm. it's 
concert trick, you cannot put it down unless you finish it. <laughs> Only like from one shot, or it can be can be slowly drinking. Yes. Only one shot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about this horn is that you cannot put it down until you finish it just because of the way the design. If you put it down, it means it will spill, of course. So you have to finish it in one go. It's a little bit, it's not a lot to be honest. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, looks fine. Saka to lose gold Oh, it's okay. Saka to lose gold into your homeland, of course. Gold Marjos. Gold Marjos. We need brother shot. This hand. What does that mean? Like this? Like this. So tasty. <laughs> good job. Ooh. So good. Wow. So interesting experience. <laughs> it's like a harmless grape juice, but really it's not. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you so much. Super Open rabbi. this pot tonight and drink. Cheers to Georgia. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll do. Yeah. Cheers to you guys too. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you next See time. Nakwandis. Okay. Nakwandis. 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 Kami khadat kweni katsuba. Nakwandis. 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 Take this pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, thank you bye very bye, much. Thank you. See you next time. Thank See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye. To me, they are the nicest Georgian people I've ever met, and it really truly shows what Georgian hospitality is like. It's beautiful. Good food, good wine, and just just the fact that they are so heartwarming. I love it. Yeah, and now we need to be super careful because we drink a little bit, and now just we need driving back to our hotel. Mm. So, so um, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. All right. bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>